शांति 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 ओपन योर आईज स्लोली नमस्ते नमस्ते ओके सो लेट मी स्टार्ट आस्किंग यू अ क्वेश्चन डू यू गो थ्रू द मटेरियल आई हैव प्रिपेयर डिड यू गो थ्रू द मटेरियल फॉर लास्ट वीक I did not. Who did? I did not. Who did go through that material? Some of it. Some of it. Uh-huh. Who did some of it? You, Gloria? No, I didn't know uh that we there was going to be material. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, every week oh. I add <clears throat> the lesson, right? Yeah. Uh the lessons for the week. Okay. So if you just uh, log in to meditation techniques and you go for example to week 4 right you will have all the things of week 4 Okay so we'll be on week 5 now We are on week 5 and today you have all the things for week 5 Okay I'll get them. And I will continue doing this for week 6 for week 7 Okay So if you are a little bit delayed you can try to do two weeks in one week okay. or leave it for a later day yeah. but it's good material to go through it yeah okay uh, i think i got off track because you were doing the website business and i sort yeah. of i got off track because right. i was I, at the beginning yeah okay i'll I, I'll go back i because i <clears throat> that's why we are delayed we restarted we start we kind of had two or three weeks without lessons but then we restarted like yeah week 4 so, yeah. and then week 5 today right. okay so today you have the materials for week 5 and we had the materials for week 4 last week okay now basically that... basically in this yeah yes gloria so uh, all that material is going to stay on the website even when we're finished with these uh, classes correct yeah all the material will be there on the website you can visit the weeks uh, uh, you know during uh, at, uh, at least for the moment for the next few months let's say you know maybe you know when we start having lots of courses we have to kind of put them in some of some kind of archive of some description uh, but for the moment it's going to be there can i uh, download those classes that we're doing onto my computer so that they'll be permanently on my computer well you can uh, yes you should be able to to print them out in pdf and and keep them in your computer but now that you say it it's a good thing to prepare you know like pdfs of every lesson which but that that functionality is not yet developed so okay. right. it's easy to speak but then you have to codify everything yeah i've i've tried i've tried a little bit to do it and i haven't been successful it doesn't print out very well either Not yeah correct. well then in that case uh, what we i will do and, and this will come you know little by little is have a pdf download version of every lesson so that you can keep them but in initially it will be in the computer uh, in, always the thing is if it is in the front page or not in the front page for the moment it's in the front page you will always be able to find the the course and then we can 
make it part of a group and then in that group you always have access to those courses so those are things that can be done and you can go back to it at any moment and Ron, yes I, i'm sorry to interrupt i just want to clarify um i was out on the website last night and just want to clarify that a week four is on the website but not five so so we always um look after our yeah, week five. Week five, I finished it, uploading it uh, just uh, probably an hour before this uh, video conference started. So week five is now. If I share you the screen, uh, okay. So five. we so we won't look ahead. We'll just we'll just we'll look back at the. So exactly. You have week four is what we did uh, last week, and week five is what we are doing this week. I speak about what is the content of the week each week, and then you have the content to go through it. Let's say a little bit, that is a little bit the structure of the course. Okay. Uh, now, uh, <clears throat> Ramon? Yes. I, I would appreciate getting the a, uh, option of having a PDF format um, as soon as possible just because I'm of the old school and like to highlight things and have them on files you know yeah I can understand that but you know I mean I will have that eventually I cannot really we have a lot of priorities and this is a big development not only this course it's the whole website and that is adding a functionality to the to the software, which would be print a PDF. And uh, that is not like, say, do it in 10 minutes, you know? Oh, okay. So I'm sorry. So we are speaking about hours and probably oh. hours. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, but anyhow, oh. it's, an, it's a functionality that is a good functionality to have and we will add it. Uh, in fact, one of the ideas of all this group being here and using this platform is because you are helping not only to better test, but to, through your suggestions, realize uh, about functionalities that may have not been considered, like in this case, print a PDF version, but that are interesting to have. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, in the comments of every lesson or, or of every course, uh, please leave your comments or I can, in fact, what I will do as soon as we finish the Anir Bank concert is I will add a forum to this course so that in the forum of this course you can add any comment of this description. Uh, for the moment, you know, there are 57 known people, more or less known people in the platform. And uh, we are using the fact that you use the platform to find about bugs. For example, we found about the messages not working because we tried to send ourselves messages and then we were able to correct that bug. So what I ask you is that uh, make the effort to, to use the platform because that's the only way to find the bugs or to get the suggestions of what a user from a user perspective would like to see, would like to do, would like to have uh, so that we can fine tune the, the development. And, you know, there is a team of 11 people working on this. So it's an effort of a lot of hours, of a lot of people. Uh, some of them hired uh, to do this so that we are paying them. So it is important. Your, your help in getting this done properly is appreciated, in other words. Okay, having said that, um, <clears throat> the the when we teach our method, and this is uh, to give you in, in Spain, we have the two modules, two preparatory modules. The P01, which is kind of a light version, 
and the P02, which goes through the same contents, but in a more deeper, uh, deeper, uh, we get more into depth into the different concepts. So it's like we have the preparatory one and the preparatory two course. Uh, in the preparatory one, we, you know, appeal to um, the majority and we give, uh, we give the techniques, like the prep technique, the track tack and all these things. But, you know, we give things like body scan, uh, you know, pausing and giving three breaths. That's another practice that people like a lot and that is very practical, you know, when for example, for example, I have been using it in my process of stop smoking. You know, when you get the urge for smoking, you just do three breaths. You get air quickly, you know, a deep breath in, and you just let, let the breath go out by itself. And you leave the breath, you do nothing with, with your breath till the body wants to breathe again. And you do three of them. And it takes the urge away at that very moment. Any urge that you could have in a given moment is taken away by, by this simple technique. So we teach these very simple techniques and we teach about um, karma yoga, i.e., how to perform action and we you know put a lot of emphasis in mindful action in putting all your senses in forgetting about the results of your action we speak about um, jnana yoga and then we teach them about the thinking process a little bit of how the mind works and we give them practical advice of how to deal with their thoughts. For example, things like the work from Byron Katie, which is a very good uh, tool that uh, can help you to objectify your thoughts and look them as if it was not reality, but just thoughts that you are believing to be true, that you are believing to be real. So we do this in a light way, and then the preparatory two course, which is normally a course that will do someone that either wants to go more into depth of things or wants to be trained as a teacher, covers the same topics, but more into depth. So this course started as a P01 because we, have, we had kind of three newcomers, but as we are all old meditators, I kind of switched it into a P02. Mm -hmm. So basically we have three areas in our method and speaking in the terms of yoga, uh, we have uh, like four components. Raj yoga, which is the meditation techniques. Uh, and we dedicate uh, and we need to know about the different meditation techniques and practice them because the way that you learn about meditation techniques is by practicing them. Uh, and then we have the three basic yogas, karma yoga, bhakti yoga, and um, jnana yoga. Now, Karma, karma stands for, karma means action. Karma yoga, the yoga through action or finding union through action uh, is everything that is related uh, with mindfulness. Uh, and this is a part, but also with choices during your actions. And this part we have already covered a little bit. Uh, so I normally dedicate in P02, two sessions to karma yoga. Then I dedicate two sessions to Bhakti Yoga, and then I dedicate two se sessions to Jnana Yoga, which is what I'm going to do. This is going to be the second session for Bhakti Yoga, and then we will have uh, week six and week seven, two sessions on Jnana Yoga, and then on week eight, a summary of 
all the system. Now Bhakti Yoga, which is where we are now, which is devotion, it's the typical area where people get, uh, get stuck. Uh, is the typical area where uh, we have difficulties um, probably because of a rejection of uh, what we have been uh, taught about devotion to the divine in our respective churches or religions or environments from where we come. Um, we started last week a little bit with this topic and uh, I'm going to dedicate this week to this topic also. Uh, for this week I have uh, put uh, together um, three, uh, four lessons uh, that I'm going to explain you a little bit about nurturing devotion, uh, which is um, a lesson, in fact, by Fernando Picasso that he published uh, a few days ago in, in his course Practical Philosophy that will be available in, 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 in English uh, but is yet to be all translated. I translated this lesson, uh, which is a very, very good introduction to how, what devotion is all about and how can you nurture your devotion and what are the steps and what are the components of that because devotion, bhakti yoga is a very important part of our path. Now, uh, um, you have also for week uh, five, uh, another topic here, which is, let me move this because with the window, I cannot see it well. Week three. Then I have here two, two lessons which uh, I would like probably to span in the lesson about prayer, um, but uh, maybe for next week I might include a little satsang to span a little bit about what uh, prayer is. And the last lesson is a satsang of Guru Raj, uh, which perfectly encompasses all the things that are part of this week uh, thing. Now I am going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lesson that Fernando Picasso has done about nurturing devotion to uh, give you um, or guide you through what uh, are the main components of this path of bhakti yoga. Now, first of all, um, one of our problems with devotion is that we don't realize something very simple. We are built in a way that we are built to be devoted. Uh, the first devotion we have as a baby, as I said in some other meeting with the group, is when you get devoted to your mother uh, and you get totally devoted to your mother. So it is embedded in us the need uh, to love. We could say the need to love. Uh, if you look at, you know, a cow that has just had its calf and uh, she's cleaning him and the calf starts, you would describe that scene as a lovable scene. So it's, it's in all nature, in all, uh, it's part of, it's part of manifestation that expression. We have that need to love. 
Now, that need to love for us to express that need to love, we are built in a way that we need an object to pour our love to that object. Um, and that's why you need an object of devotion. Uh, many people can think or you can come to the point that you think that kind of uh, you are giving something to the object of devotion that you are that the object of your devotion should be worth of, of your devotion but the important thing is not that because the important thing is that you are taking advantage of the object of the devotion because you are using that object of devotion to uh, express that need you have to love. We have the need to love and we are, we express our gratitude to the object that he allows us to express our love to him or her. Uh, so the first thing we need to realize is that devotion is a natural thing and we have that need to love everyone can recognize that need to love within uh, themselves because it is uh, not quite an obvious thing to, to to recognize that need you have to love and um, and and you 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 use an object to express that love and that is a natural thing and you should be grateful for that object that allows that you express your love to that object i mean that when uh, hey, ramon sorry yeah. Could you please uh, silent, uh, Sandra? Oh, there is one noise. Ah, okay. Maybe it comes from me, Sandra Celanti, maybe. Let me silence Thank everybody. you. Thank you a lot. Everybody's silenced now. Okay, sorry for that. I forgot to silent, silence everybody. Uh, so... Um, uh, we were then uh, saying that once you have an object of devotion, uh, part of the process of this expression of devotion is that doubts appear about your object of devotion. And this is natural. Uh, and as Guruji said, it is these doubts that push you to try to find the truth within yourself. Because that truth within yourself, which is that, that need to love, that ananda which emanates from within and that you need to express, uh, when these doubts that you have about your object of devotion are the ones that push you to see if your love is real love to see if you are for example in the right relationship this happens uh, and i'm not speaking just because you are devoted to christ or to buddha or to whomever when you are you, you have the same doubts about your relationships you know you are eventually you start doubting should this person be the object of my devotion the object of should this woman be my beloved or not so this is something that is part of the constitution of the mechanisms of our mind and doubts are good and as fernando says in his essay uh, in the times of Guru Raj, if we had uh, not doubts, he would make himself sure that we had doubts. 
because it's part of what pushes you to try to find the reality of that love, which is what you really want to find, which is my reality, which is my actuality, which is it that is this that makes me feel alive, that makes me appreciate beauty, that, that makes me feel devoted, that in fact makes you feel uh, plentiful. So, <clears throat> uh, the situation is of Bhakti Yoga that you have to choose the object of your devotion. Now, the object of your devotion can be um, of any kind. Uh, Fernando in his essay tells, you know, uh, you have books, tons of books, people get in, 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 uh, in contact with that source within them because they get devoted to the action they perform. For example, you know this uh, bow striking, the thin bow striking, uh, or the action you perform, the, 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 the job you have, you get so devoted to it that you, mm, you find your own perfection, your own love, through your own love to that act, that becomes your object of the devotion. So the object of devotion can be a rock can be your wife, can be uh, anything, uh, but you need an object of devotion. So you need to find an object of your devotion. And you need to find an object of your devotion because you need that object as a crutch to express the need to love you have. The need to love you have, you have it because you are built in a way that you need to express that love through expressing it to an object of, the, of your devotion. And this is imprinted in your mind in the very first layers of your mind since you were born in this lifetime and as Guruji used to say, if you believe in other lifetimes, in every other lifetime, you've been born to begin with like a baby. So you have this imprinted from minute one in your structure, in the structure that governs your behavior and your understandings and everything. So you need to choose an object of your devotion. Now, uh, Fernando, in his essay, uh, uh, when he speaks about the object of devotion, he makes a disclaimer to what the word ananda means. Because this source, this ananda that you have within, um, is uh, the word ananda comes from the triad Satchitananda. Uh, uh, which is kind the is the energy or the sensation that you feel when you are in this state of unconditional love, completely forgotten of yourself, uh, um, and completely surrendered to that energy. And this is called ananda or bliss or it's the energy. So you have that energy within and you need an object to express that energy uh, to that object. And when you are in the spiritual path, uh, you mm, need to find an object of devotion that connects you very strongly with that ananda that is within, 
um, so that you can forget about yourself. Because um, the only way to realize uh, that you are that everything is God is because you have forgotten completely about yourself in the sense not that you've lost your individuality as Guruji used to say not that you stop expressing yourself through your individuality because that that is given uh, you don't lose your individuality you lose the sense of being an individual you lose the idea of being something different to the everythingness that is happening and then uh, to be able to to forget about yourself in any instance you need this object of devotion that can inspire that ananda within you People throughout the ages have um, devoted themselves to, we could call them messengers, uh, the Hindus call them avatars, the Jewish call them prophets, uh, different cultures call them different things. But the message has been always the same message, which is connect with that inner self, that kingdom of heaven, with, which is within you. Only the language has changed to adapt it to the times, to adapt it to the culture, to adapt it to the common understandings, to adapt it to the 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 environment of the days but the message has been always the same and uh, guru raj uh, if you try using it and every person that has been initiated in our societies are initiated to begin with in the prep mantra which is guru raj ananda which is a kind of connection with that expression uh, you can use that mind the mind of Guru Raj which is uh, a mind that is near to you in the sense that you have the videos you have the writings you have as the video I had for week four uh, the Guru Shakti video you have someone which is a human like you and in the picture is giving you the namaste sign which means look i'm like you and i have recognized that reality within me that is also within you so you can use me as your object of devotion to become in touch with that ananda with that source of energy which is within you as it is within me now here fernando in the essay he he, he expands quite a bit in this point i very much advise that you read it because after that, eventually, the object of the devotion is kind of the crutch, is kind of the, the thing you need to walk up the stairs. But eventually, you can swim without a pontoon or you can jump without a safety net. You can just, instead of loving an object of devotion, become love. That is the final stage but to reach this final stage of becoming love uh, you need to forget about yourself because to become love you need to forget about yourself 
and to forget about yourself, bhakti is essential. And bhakti is also a very practical tool uh, when you are in trouble. That's why we pray when we are in trouble. We normally don't pray when we are not in trouble. We just pray when we are in trouble. So bhakti is also a good, a good tool when we are in trouble because on this, I'm sure that everybody that has practiced Guru Shakti throughout the years will be able to tell you any Guru Shakti with any object of devotion, it is very, very useful. It is very, very useful because it helps you make the weight of whatever trouble you are in feel lighter. Now, um, we need to express our devotion in many, many different ways because devotion is not only to a person, devotion is also to our acts, devotion is also uh, reading poetry, devotion is also dancing, devotion is also music and singing and all these practices all these devotional practices all these uh, very very good benefits that you know a good uh, evening going to a symphonic orchestra or to a good concert of any kind or to an opera or to a, you know, guitar concert, or to kirtans, or to flamenco, or to tabla, as we are having now. Any musical expression, any artistic expression, like painting, is an expression of devotion. In fact, Guruji, he, as everybody that was part of his courses, made part of his courses, the painting, the singing, the clapping, the music, uh, without, you know, without having to be a genius in the clapping or in the painting or in whatever you were doing. Just expressing yourself devotedly to the clapping, to the singing, to the dancing, because it is in the expression of that devotion that you put in the act you are performing that you become in touch with this bliss, with this ananda, with this source that you want to get in touch with through the meditation techniques and spiritual practices that you follow when you start a spiritual path, which is what we teach. Our organization teaches a spiritual path and the name is, uh, implies it, International Foundation for Spiritual Unfoldment and the different national meditation societies. So, you know, we are in, in teaching uh, to humanity because the plan is that we, you know, um, uh, leave our roots firmly planted in this earth of ours. Uh, so that these teachings, you know, can uh, prevail and can be uh, accessed uh, because what it is said today, it will be good, I tell you, in 100 years and probably in many, many, many hundreds of years. While we are human, when we stop being human because evolution turns us in something else, maybe not, but while we are human, and that might be for lots of thousands of years to come, uh, they, they will be valid because they are the, what it is normally called the perennial teachings, the perennial philosophy, you know, which is, it's, it's eternal in the sense that it is valid throughout the ages. You know, we just uh, adjust it to the language of the times. So, um, 
this is it for you know the the little talk for today uh, the documents uh, uh, that are there for week four and week five which is both weeks dedicated to bhakti are good documents to get good quality information about it uh, but uh, and the fact that you read it and your suggestions that of how it is presented your criticism because the only way we can improve is through criticism you know like, like if you say look look this is not good or the english should be better you will have to excuse my english is not english is not my mother language so roman where do we tell you that in messages like you can tell me that in messages i'm going to put a forum right after uh, this course i'm going to put a forum in the course uh, but you know in whichever way you find to connect me through the platform because you will do it from many different ways and it will serve me to check that all of them are working let's okay. put it that way but it comments in the very same lesson or in the course or through the forum or in the teachers group that you should be part of all of you uh, any place there it will be okay i will receive them and at the same time i will be checking that everything is working okay good yes gloria yes while you were talking the uh in terms of the connection to the object um, and it was particularly around creativity and art forms, the word that kept coming to me was transcendence. Hmm. Uh, that it, because from time to time I've experienced being outside of myself and connected to something much larger, that it was transcendence. Yeah, trans, you can call it transcendence. Yes, I mean, the meaning of immanent and transcendent is that the immanent uh, the divinity which is immanent is kind of its manifestation, it's immanent. And the transcendental divinity is that which is beyond what is manifested. And transcending, the problem of transcending is that if the transcending happens completely, as there is no one there to objectify uh, as there is no two there is no one there to have transcended because the moment that you have transcended there is two so you have not transcended you are still in the eye so transcending means that beyond the immanent is the transcendental but the transcendental there is no individual to be aware of the transcendental because if not, the transcendental would be immanent again. <laughs> Ramon, could you further describe immanent? Because that's a new word. I saw it in one of Guru's satsangs and I'm tra transcribing for Sutria. And I, can you just explain it better? Uh, immanent, mm, it's a philosophical term. The immanent God is the God that is present. In the, in the theology of the Catholic Church, it would be the Holy Spirit. It would be grace. Grace, the Holy Spirit, is the immanent God. The, the express, the personal God is the immanent God. The incarnated God, which is the manifestation, because the incarnation of the divine you could say that the personal god is the sum totality of all manifestation so that's the immanent god the transcendental god would be the impersonal god the one without a second but uh, and without any objects and without any qualities but when something has no objects no qualities it's transcendental which means uh, unreachable <laughs> from the immanency in which you live. So it's a philosophical term used in philosophy in general that Guruji also used, but it's a philosophical term. Thank you.
more questions I have a question concerning the website. Hmm. Are we um, supposed to, we were supposed to invite maybe some friends to try because you said more people are better to go through the system. Yes, if you invite some friends, you know, uh, the plan for this website is that I want to build it into thousands of users. So, right. you know, the more people we have uh, playing around with it, the more bugs will appear, the more things, you know, only advise them that it is not a final product, that it is something on the works and that they are there a little bit like a beta tester, taking into consideration that they are helping to beta test something that eventually will be public. Okay, thank you. Today you cannot arrive to the website uh, through Google because it is not indexed on purpose. So only if you have the link, you can get to the website. So I, I have a question, Ramon. Hmm. So you said we need an object of devotion. So it means, uh, can we have many objects of devotion? Of devotion? Uh, yes, of course, you can have uh, many objects of devotion, like the polyamorous. <laughs> no, know? but like the, the, the question they can be the, changed, like the through the life, right? Well, you know, if we speak about mysticism, uh, all objects of devotion point to the same place, you know? Uh, like uh, all, uh, you know, different, imagine different fingers pointing to the moon from different places. So, uh, you know, in the case of mysticism, when you choose an object of devotion in a spiritual path, whatever object is pointing to the same place. Uh, now, focalizing, focalization is important. Uh, one pointedness is important uh, and the question of how many objects of devotion you can have is similar to how many husbands or wives you can have some people can have more than one but it is rare let's put it that way <laughs> But, you know, you may be able, um, <laughs> I'm not saying that it's impossible, <laughs> I'm saying that it's rare. Maria, you have no voice. I wanted to just ask Galena, did you mean more than one object at the same time, or that in your life you move from one to another no like in the both ways for example like you you like um, music and you devote to the music but then later in your life you may like uh, dancing and then you devote yourself to oh dancing. yeah you can have as many devotion yeah yeah no, right I'm, you know you get devoted the ideal is to get devoted to everything not to uh -huh. something in particular, but to everything but in everything. general. That's the idea. But, you know, in, in the spiritual path, through devoting yourself to, the, to your spiritual object of devotion, what happens is that you naturally expand that devotion to everything else. Right. And then through the devotion that you unfold, to that object of devotion, you kind of awaken up your devotion because devotion doesn't depend on the object, depend or depends on that source. And once you clean the, 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 the tube that connects that source with the outer expression of your conscious mind, then you know that devotion which is within you arises and emanates and naturally make you, devo make you devoted to everything around you. Not only, you know, to, 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 to the water you are drinking, to, 
to everything, to, to the computer you are using, or the carpet you are cleaning, or the music you are listening. I understood of your question, like in from the spiritual point of view, if you could be devoted to, I don't know, two objects of devotion. And also, for example, I, for example, you could say uh, Ananda is the, the energy that devotion generates, right? So you could say, when you do your Guru Shakti, you could say mentally, Jesus Christ Ananda, Krishna Ananda, Guru Raj Ananda, Buddha Ananda, and you can kind of compile in one various objects of devotion, but you are pointing to that personal God. But you could, you know, kind of compile them in, 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 a, in one, one unit. But you need that one-pointedness. You need that feeling uh, that, you know, it's your mother or your father for that sense. But yes, you can be devoted to every, you want to be devoted to everything around you eventually. That is when, when this devotion is awakened, that is the natural outcome. And devotion is different to likes and dislikes. Eh? Devotion is of a different, devotion is that that arises within you and awakens in you this love. Devotion is felt as love. And likes is not love, is more that you like this, it could be a fad. Uh, you know, it, 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 it can be very mind-based, likes and dislikes. Devotion is more from within. Or, well, devotion is from within, not more, is from within. Thank you. More questions. Uh, Ramon, hmm. uh, it's a very simple question, but I have this doubt because we usually uh, translate Ananda by, <laughs> well, uh, the word love or amor, no? We say Ananda is amor or Ananda is love. Is, is this a simplification? Is more correct to say what... Well, Ananda is not... Is a Sanskrit word. Yes. That would not have an equipable uh, term in Spanish or in English. Uh, that's why we always make kind of an explanation of what do we mean by love or what we mean by bliss or what do we mean. Ananda is a Sanskrit term that is part of what is sat, which is, it's, it's inseparable from sat and chit. Sat, chit, ananda. Sat, you could be truth, sincerity, honesty. Uh, Ananda would be bliss and cheat. Uh, I don't know what, how to express cheat, but it is this all fulfilling. It's like the, how do you say the, what is the triad of the, of the mean energy, energy. Yeah. Cheat the energy, the, so it's kind of, it's a concept that uh, it's very much, how do you, the mystery of the three in one, what is, what they call it? The, trinity. The trinity. It's a trinity. So Ananda is part of a concept which is part of a trinity that you need to take it as a whole because the three are one, although they look at, at like three. So because there is no good translation, we use many words like this or love or, or an explanation, which is, is the energy that uh, uh, emanates within you when you are in a state of unconditional love, would be another way of kind of expressing what do we mean by Ananda, but is this emanation, this natural emanation that is there within you, is the light within you, 
is love, is the source, is the the source of the war of the galaxies, you know, the source be with you. That that the energy, the living energy which is within you. Thank you. So nothing else for today? Everybody watch the concert. <clears throat> So everybody join to the concert. Do you have, do you all have the link? What time is it? It's 12 noon. 12 noon, so in, an, in less than an hour, in 55 minutes. Okay. And so good. So what I will do, Maria, now is I will send a WhatsApp. I will first open the session of Anirban. I will send him a WhatsApp. He has the link to connect, right, Irma? Anirban has the link to connect to Zoom. Good. So he only needs to connect, really. So it should be okay. But uh, uh, I will be in touch with WhatsApp and see you in a bit. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye. Namaste. 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 The better sound. Thanks, Ramon. Namaste. Namaste, Luisa. Gracias. A todos. Gracias. Bye. Gracias. Bye. Bye.